What's up guys, my name is Narskul and this is the video review of Indie Hash Alcobra. I'm now adding the other blend from the Indie Hash line to my collection. As I have reviewed Indie Hash Al Sabah, you can click the annotation to view that video. These blends are the one with the most true Doha tobacco flavors out there. Although Alcobra has some small nuances Al Sabah does not have, these blends are very similar. Now a lot of the traditional blends has both spices, dried fruit and sometimes petals from different flowers added in to support these Doha tobacco flavors. I do not smell nor taste any supporting mods with this blend. Harshness is a little higher than the Al Sabah but the boss is also a higher intensity and lasts for roughly the same time. These blends are very strong in the Doha tobacco flavors which I personally enjoy. Indie Hash Al Cobra has been my go-to blend for this past month and never ceases to impress. Whether it's the morning bowl, just after lunch bowl, or the last thing I smoke before bed, I must say what they do over at the Indie Hash HQ is something that I do enjoy. Traditional blends are normally much alike, since they don't have as many parameters to tweak to get them where they want, but there's always differences in both smell, flavor, and flavor durants. Flavor in the Indie Hashes dissipates after approximately one minute, and the buzz goes fully at around 15 seconds, with the highest intensity at around five. Indie Hash is a very good blend for those who like the traditional blends and are searching for that perfect amount of traditional Doha tobacco flavor. But anyways, that's all for me. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button down below. There you can also subscribe just ahead of what's coming next. All of my social media links are in the description. Follow the annotation at the end to my Doha review playlist. So sit back, pack a bowl, enjoy, and as always, my name is Norsko. Thanks so much for watching.